going on guys welcome back to the channel i first want to say i apologize if i sound sick i just flew back from pittsburgh and it was super cold there so i picked up a slight cold from the traveling but we're here we're going to talk about one of my favorite transitions of all time and the reason why i love this effect is because a it's very practical b it's very simple to pull off it's more thinking and planning than it is doing complex sequences of um, things in an editing software or on set and the last reason why i like this is you can get really creative with this effect you can do some really cool things and there's a lot of different ways you can do it so we're going to talk about five different ways that you can create match cuts in this video so this is all about match cuts we're going to relate it from movies we're going to relate it from music videos this what you're seeing on the screen now is one of my favorite music videos of all time one of my favorite music video directors we're going to talk about some of his videos in this because in my opinion he uses match cuts very well in his videos so let's quickly go ahead and break down some match cuts in a music video let's talk about what a match cut is and then afterwards we're going to show you the five different examples so like i said directed by Anton Tammy. Um, if you want some more information, I'm going to leave his Instagram. I really love the style. Um, I'm not going to talk all about the video because I could go on and on about all the different things that I do like. This is going to be centered all on match cuts. Okay, so what is a match cut? You're about to see in the next few seconds right there. This is what is called a graphic match cut. So you have two subjects here. What they did was the director told her to walk towards the other girl and then at a different location, they did the same exact thing, the same exact walk. But keep in mind that as you can see, the framing is done very well so they were smart enough to know the distance from the camera to the subjects and they were smart enough to replicate that in the second shot so that they can have this nice seamless graphic match cut and there's a bunch of different examples in movies that I'm gonna flash a few on the screen right now so that's what a match cut is matching one thing from one scene to the second scene it makes a very interesting seamless creative cut um, it's one of my favorite transitions because it's not too flashy it's not too out it's not too oversaturated it's something that you can use in music videos and movies and short films so not only are there these kind of very obvious match cuts, but there's very subtle match cuts as well, such as right here. It's all about the planning and having a nice artistic composition as you move through your story, your music video, whatever it is you're making. So you have the same distance from the camera, these nice two close-up shots. And of course, it doesn't have to all be planned. You can put this together in an editing software just by coincidence of the shots. But with how smooth this kind of goes through the video, and we're gonna point out a few more instances, you can tell that there was a lot of thought put behind it and that's the biggest thing I want you guys to take away from this video if anything also a little side note there's some other cool effects here um, some stuff that we talked about in previous videos like with the smoke they use some sort of uh, sapphire distort RGB chroma distort as you can see I'll link some tutorials down there I've made on some ASAP Rocky videos if you're interested in that moving along here's another match cut we'll play this out now this is using a shape this is a shape match cut where you take one shape in the composition and you match that shape to another similar shape in the next scene so we have this black reflective ball here which is on all this black satin in the sheet and the match cut goes to this helmet so again another use of planning you can see that the shapes are even being kept in a nice orderly fashion here too you have your main subject in the middle and then you have these two circles on each side of the frame one on the left side one on the right side as we play this through I'll keep the markers on the scene you're gonna see very similar things in the following scene so you have one on the left side one on the right side as we play through it's gonna go to another scene where you have circle on the left side circle on the right side you see that those almost perfectly lined up so there's another example of keeping that similar composition and just having a lot of thought behind what is going into the frame all right another match cut in this one i think is just very genius it's a very beautiful example of how to use a match cut in a creative way and um, another thing that i want to talk about we're going to get into the five different ones but we're covering most of them here is audio if you play the audio along with this it matches with the music it matches with the moment it matches with the spark that they're trying to get across with this video the spark you see here on um, the same composition everything is matching together in perfect harmony and that's what makes the match cut such a powerful tool for an editor to use or a director to use right here you have the spark from the kiss perfectly executed if you keep eyes on this you're gonna see this turns into another match cut so it's kind of a little triple match cut sequence it's something that you see in a lot of different music videos using creative transitions where it kind of warps from one scene to the next but it's just simple it's not oversaturated and it's more creative thoughtful so you'll see watch the circle here and you'll be able to see where this match cut is so you have circle where your tension is 
circle where the spark from the cigarettes are, circle where the light from the motorcycle is. So it's a mixture of planning, but it's also a mixture of taking the shots that you have, taking the vision that you have for it and making it all work. So it's a great example there. I think you guys have the main idea. Let's go into Adobe Premiere and let's show you how to put together a match cut. It's very simple. It's more, like I said, the planning, the thinking than it is the application. So I use a cool little simple match cut in this sequence that you guys see here. So what I did, and this is a very easy way to make a match cut, is I just zoomed in from one light and zoomed out of another light. So as you can see here, I have this whole kind of go through the car sequence using all this flashy stuff, but then I zoom into the front left light of this car using an After Effects camera. You can also do this in Adobe Premiere. So here is the cut. This is where the cut is. And now we're on the second scene. This is completely zoomed into a light of a Lamborghini. And then I zoom it out. So you can see here's a nice simple little match cut just using a light. Another easy way to do that is zooming into shadows, darkness, or one similar matching color from one scene to the next. So keep that in mind, the two things that I mentioned there, zooming into a light and then zooming out of a light in a different scene, and then zooming into a shadow, dark color, and doing the same for a second scene. There's one TV show where they do that a lot in the editing of it. If you guys know it, comment it down below. If not, wait a few moments and after we show you the application of making a match cut, we're gonna show you and talk about some famous examples in movies and television as well as music videos where you can see match cuts and the five different kinds that we want to talk about to actually create a match cut you have one thing that's similar in this shot that is also similar in the second and that is the light so in adobe premiere what i would do is i would select that clip I would go up to my top left in my effect controls. With your clip selected in the top left with your effect controls open, all you need to do is just add a simple little scaling or zoom. You can do it just by changing this and adding a keyframe, or if you want, you guys can click open your effects library here and search for the transform effect. So you can keyframe your position and your scale under motion. You can zoom to the end, and then you can just scale in using these values to zoom into the light just like this. So very simple, make sure you're not going too far or your computer may explode. Um, but here is basically what we have. It goes from our normal footage, zooms into the light. We wanna start on our second one. We want this to be started scaled in and then we're gonna keyframe it so that it goes back to normal. So we zoom into the light, we go into the light here. We can keyframe position, keyframe scale at our starting point zoom to the end and you can just click reset and it'll go back to normal. So here's what we just created. Zooms in, zooms out. Um, this is just a quick little example. The animation doesn't look that good. If you want to do it the way I did it in the music video, I use After Effects. So what I'm going to do is we can go ahead and just get rid of all these keyframes and then I'm gonna right click, place with After Effects composition. So it's very easy to do this. You just right click in this gray area in After Effects. You go to new, you go to camera, click OK. And it's just saying that these aren't 3D layers. So if you click toggle switches and modes in the bottom left here, you can now enable that clicking in your camera, this little options, your transform options, you can keyframe all of this, move to where you want. And then using the C key on your keyboard, you can toggle these camera controls. So this is the zoom in, just click and drag, click C, four point zoom and this just gives you a little bit ease of control um, on where you'd like to zoom I have a full video talking about doing this it all talks about using After Effects cameras to add motion in your shots it's a very great tutorial that I recommend you guys check out if you haven't so we can click reset where we have our second scene start or you could even cut the camera and uh, make a new camera but see it's a lot easier than kind of bending the values in Adobe Premiere it's also a lot more um, efficient when it comes to not crashing your computer. So I'll, so I just drag to the end here and then I clicked reset so that it would start at our starting position. So now zooms into the light, zooms out of the light, easy as that. Zooming into a shadowy dark area or zooming into a light, it's done in a lot of TV shows, movies. A great TV show that uses this as a nice creative technique is Stranger Things. So check out these clips here on how they use match cuts to pull off some of these scenes. Once you guys check that out, we're gonna start breaking down the five different match cuts that I want you guys to learn and take away from this video. I think you guys have the basic gist of how to do it. It's more planning than it is the 
editing software knowledge so it's very easy for beginners so the first match cut that we talked about is the graphic match cut that is where you take one scene and you completely switch to the second scene with the subject matter staying the same so I showed it to you in this music video so this right here is a graphic match cut where you have the same framing between both of them but the background is changing the subject is what is matched here are some movie examples of this exact same technique the graphic match cut that is number one Now, number two, what I want to talk about is time passing. And this is something that you can do with a tripod. You can do a time lapse version of it. You can use match cutting to pull this off. Check out some of these techniques where you can use crossfades, cross dissolves to pull this off, make someone fade out of a scene. This is a very tripod friendly effect, but you can do it in other creative fashions. There's a lot of different things that you can do. Essentially, it is very similar to the graphic match cut, but it's keeping time in mind. It's trying to show more of a progression than a pop from one scene to the next the next match cut that i want to talk about is a motion match cut that's where you're taking the motion of a subject in one scene and then continuing it in the next so a great example of this is someone falling in a chair backwards or falling into a pool and then using a match cut to make it look to match that motion and have them equally fall down so you see them start in this scene this bottom scene is a completely different one but using that motion match cut you can have that instance that they're falling through something or they're going in one direction so i'm going to show some movie examples on the screen as well um, this example that you just saw on the screen this is Lil guys breathe a really awesome music video go check that out directed by nicholas jandora on the screen here you're going to see some other examples of what you can do this is one that i think is very easy for beginners because this is something that even if you didn't plan for a match cut you can still create this type of match cut just with whatever footage you have because it's pretty simple to you have a clip where your subject is doing one type of motion and then find another clip where it's pretty where you can match it so whether it's someone walking out of a room if you have two clips of someone walking out of a room it's pretty easy to make a match cut from the first to the second so to give you a good visual representation of creating that movement match cut that I just mentioned I went through the music video that I was talking about for Joe Moses and I found two similar looking um, patterns that I could use for the match cut. I have a guy going to the right here, and then I also have a lady walking to the right. Now, they're a little bit different. Maybe the camera angle is a little bit further, but what we can do is we can kind of finesse this to try and create a match cut. So let's cut and trim this the way we need to. Now, if we line these up, this is what it'll look like. We may need to just tweak it a bit to get the effect that we want, but essentially, there it is. So we have someone moving to the right and then match cutting with another similar speed motion moving to the right. This is something you can do with just random footage. You can even hold down alt and duplicate and drag maybe the first frame of this over. If you want to make this a perfect match cut, you guys can go and click this, go to effect controls and you see your opacity tab here. You guys can lower the opacity and you'll see how these truly match up. So now you can click the motion box and try and actually match these up a bit better. And I mentioned it, the fourth type of match cut I wanna talk about is using shapes and being aware of the composition of your scenes to transition into the next one. So we talked about, and here is a better example of using shape match cuts. You can take things that are literally the same shape, like this ball, this helmet, match cut that together, just like that. And then you can even have similar shapes in scenes and not make it as, um, apparent that it is a match cut here you have two shapes on each side of her head and then you'll notice that in the next couple of scenes that kind of theme stays the same where there's two things on each side and you're keeping those shapes consistent throughout so it's more of a subtle type of match cut. now if you want to create something like that let's hop into adobe premiere or whatever editing software you guys are using and i have a nice little video here um, where we have this apple and it's one of the main subjects of the video so if you're just pulling this from random footage don't be afraid to use zooming or any kind of motion um, at, or any kind of editing of the motion to be able to make this lineup better um, if you are planning it it's always gonna look better in my opinion so here we have an Apple let's go ahead and use that same little opacity technique to create the match cut so we're gonna move this one frame over from the beginning we're gonna select it go up to effect controls and then lower the opacity to make this little see-through and then I'm going to select this scale it up clicking motion I'm just going to try and match these two up something like that and then I'm going to change the opacity up to normal so now when I place this at where the cut is you're going to see this seamlessly 
transition and have a nice shape match cut as if someone is taking and scooping up that apple um, but just with an easy simple little cut and the last type of match cut is audio match cuts one of the main things i preach on this channel one of the main things i think you guys can implement which will improve your videos is matching the visual with the audio whether it's music whether whether it's music for a music video music for a vlog anything matching the audio with the visual is always going to help obviously i can't play out the audio for this where i'll get a copyright strike but i want you guys to go watch this video or watch any other kind of video that has match cuts that i'm showing you that are linked below and pay attention to the audio that is coupled with the match cuts a lot of the times you'll have this rising of the audio and then bam it'll switch right to the next match cut so you don't have to just do it visually you can do it with audio as well so go ahead and listen to some of these clips from famous movies that show you how you can use audio I recommend you guys invest into some sound effect packs. There's free ones on the internet. There's a free one on my website, um, which if you guys are interested, check it out. Link below, MediaMonopoly.co. We have a bunch of effects, presets, all that. And with that, shameless plug, this video is a wrap. Like I said, a lot of exciting things that I enjoy talking about here. A lot of cool videos that I think you guys can take away from. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, let me know any comments down below if you want full breakdowns on this. Like I said, I already have a lot of them planned. And with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting. And I'll see you guys in the next one.